Hey guys, so this is going to be a really short video. I just mentioned that I wanted to see if the Sterling Ink, this is the 560 day or 520 day. So this will be the same size as the new planners that are coming out. And I just wanted to see if this would fit in my Chic Sparrow. And so I figured I'd turn on the camera and let you guys see as well. So we will take my weeks out. I don't think I've done this before. If I have, I'm sorry, but I don't think that I actually tried it in here. So I thought, you know, I don't know that it's going to fit, but we're going to give it a shot. Hopefully it does because this is one of my favorite covers, but eh, yeah, probably not going to work. I mean, I can make it work, but yeah, I don't really like how it fits. Let's see if we take out my little sticker book. I think it's this that's kind of bunching it up. And that's not too bad. So it'll fit. Maybe if I, like, square it off some, it would be a little better. I'm not really sure. I've never really squared off a notebook before. I don't really know how. <laughs> but I know that, like, they, like, fold it over. But I think it's because the pockets on this side, like how far they go, if they weren't as wide, then it might fit a little better. This is not the best either. Well, maybe if I take the clear cover off though, it probably would fit. I do like my clear cover though. I hate to risk damaging my little front covers, but but if it's what I have to do to make it work, then I probably will just because I really like, yeah, that's a whole lot better, but I don't know like how it'll chunk up, so... But yeah, if I could square that spine off, maybe it would fit better. But, but that would work. I think I could use it like that. So, you know, I just thought I'd throw this in here and show you guys kind of what it would do. And this is the week's cascade. So this is not the weekly uh, calendar cover. I have one of those, but I'm not really sure where it is. But you're not going to be able to put like a whole bunch of extras with that. And then I also thought that I might try, because I do have a lot of Hobonichi stuff. And I'm not really sure. So let's put my weeks back in here. And get this closed back up. And then I'll show you my other little thought about trying So that was, yeah, kind of one of my worries that it wouldn't really fit. So, I mean, I know it's going to fit in the RSL just fine, but when it gets chunky, it'll be sad not to be able to use some of my loved covers, especially this one. This one is one of my favorites. So, so I don't know. I haven't really made up my, my mind on whether I'm going to use the full year or the compact, but let me show you my I don't know. I know some people have these, but I have one and I love it. I don't really use it that much, but so this is the Hobonichi. It's called a, is it called a band belt or something like that. And it has like two pen loops on the front and then it has this, but it's meant to keep your weeks closed. It does stretch, so might be okay, but yeah, if it's fine, you wouldn't really be able to use like both pen loops. Maybe if you like maneuver it around a little bit, 
it's like where it sits. So yeah, I guess you could do that. So that works. But then it just keeps your book closed. So you can throw it in a purse. I really like this thing. I just don't use it a whole lot. Uh, I'm not sure about it with the clear cover. Let's check. Because see, yeah, it already messed up my cover a little bit. Right there. So yeah, I always like to keep the clear cover on most of my planners. Just to protect them. And I like to change the covers on them, so it's always nice. All right, this goes in this little cover so nicely. This is the one from Starling Ink. It's just like a perfect fit. So, like start it there, I guess. But I think it's gonna bend the the plastic on the cover I mean this thing is stretchy so it's meant to kind of stretch around things so yeah I mean it's gonna work uh, that makes me happy I've never tried to put my sailor pin in it I don't know that I would to actually carry it like that yeah it works it's perfectly so yeah I love this little thing it's cute I spent a pretty penny on I, if I could have got it on I should have ordered another one whenever I ordered my Hobonichi because I could have got it in the other colors they're like eight bucks a piece I paid like forty dollars for it on Amazon but it's really nice it's leather and you know you can't really get them that much but I forgot because I should have ordered an extra one but I don't really use that one anyway so uh, yeah, but that was kind of all I wanted to show you guys to let you know kind of how it was going to fit in a Chic Sparrow. Like I've shown before, it fits really nicely in the Aura style, and you can adjust the Aura style. But see, like, yeah, this is my Chic Sparrow that I modified, so if it's all right in it, but... Alright, I guess that's about it. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And it would mean the absolute world to me if you'd consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.